Welcome back, everybody. This is your Feel Good Breakfast Show right here on SABC3. It is Tech Thursdays, and there, of course, there is a whole new generation of content creators who are learning to edit videos, audio, and creatively come up with dances, skits, or ways to voice their opinions. And this is all happening through apps like TikTok, which gives a platform to this creativity. And sometimes it takes more than just a smartphone for those taking content creation seriously or even making a career out of it. And of course, Amble Barnard joins us to go through a few gadgets you might want to get your hands on for filming your TikToks and creating content. Because Amble, really, you are the queen of content lately. Girl, you have been Thank serving you. us. Good morning. Thank you. Morning, how are you doing? I'm good, how are you? Good. Bryce and Lee. Listen. Last year, yes. everyone was on TikTok. We were all yes. down in tic downloading TikTok. We were baking bread. Learning the dances. We were learning, I'm a savage. Hey, <laughs> hey, hey. But people are taking this seriously. Yes. It's become a thing. It's, for some people, it's actually a job. Yes. How do we elevate our TikTok and just get a million followers? <laughs> Firstly, it's a thing. Can we do that? <laughs> So um, I would recommend, uh, in terms of gear, something like a selfie ring light, first of all, because that's probably the most basic, well-known one. And um, if you get one with like an extendable tripod, it's really cool because you can film an entire dance full length, or you can put it on your desktop. So if you're doing like makeup or just innermost ramblings to the camera, it's the perfect thing for you. Um, but if you don't want a ring light and you just want something smaller, you can get something like this, like just a handheld tripod, uh, clip your phone on, get an extendable one again, and you can also just carry it around. And there you go. Just see everyone on the prom walking with this. Yes. Again, this came in so handy, not just yes. for, for TikTok and for taking selfies, but I remember last year as well doing everything virtually. Yes. Um, having meetings and everything, this was the perfect way to set that up. It gives you, you make a, a nice little backdrop at the back and perfect uh, meeting location for yourself. And ring lights give you that beautiful that glow. glow. <laughs> so I guess you some more because I see you have more yes. gadgets on the table. Um, so if anyone's taking TikTok really seriously and maybe they do extreme sports or something like that, I'd recommend getting like a handheld gimbal so you can sort of stabilize your movements while you're filming. This is obviously if you're taking it very seriously. Our um, camera crew uses yes, this on inserts. Yes. This but is you next can buy level. Them and use them. <laughs> I mean, probably if you're doing like a running shot yes. or sports or just something active, I think this would yeah. be a great yeah, way. Yeah, for like a vlog style as well. It's really useful. Definitely, definitely. And then we talk about the Beyonce. If you are, are taking it to a whole other level, just wanting to be extreme, yes. this is where the, these come in, right? Yeah, so um, if you don't want to use kind of the standard microphone audio, which doesn't always sound 100% great, you can use mics that you can directly plug into your phone and record um, and you even get lapel mics now so if you are moving around um, or doing like a delivery camera vibe um, and then it's also really cool if you you get free software like um, audacity for example where you can upload that footage in and then make it sound super crisp and clear so you don't have that you know microphone cackle going through the whole time i'm just trying to understand at what point would i need this entire thing but you you never know you never there, know there are singers there are um voiceover artists there's people that um, are taking it very seriously and they're they're promoting their other businesses through TikTok. so you know if you're if you're a professional in the scene it would be pretty useful to have stuff like this again a great platform just to you know use your creativity but yes. let's talk about lenses as well yes. i know that's also something uh, something useful when it comes yep. to these platforms yeah so so most people are obviously filming on their phones because they can pretty much do everything um, and then they might not want to buy an expensive dslr or something but it's fine because you get attachable lenses that you can put on your phone you can get macro Blue lenses or you can get ones with Blue filters flare. completely built in today, um, which is pretty cool these days so if you can't afford a whole camera you can just buy the lens we spoke it, spoke about it briefly as well just the light that gives a glow yeah. what other lights would you also recommend to make sure that we're getting that smooth edited look on our faces and just again elevating uh, your TikToks yeah. Well, you, you can buy separate lights as well, um, depending on, you know, you can get like softbox lights or LED ones. And then obviously I'd recommend um, some of the colorful LEDs, like those always look pretty good in videos. And then if you have remote controlled ones, you can change the colors while you're filming, which is great. For a basic, for basic, if you don't want all of these, what would be your top two, just looking at everything, your top two, just to create a basic TikTok or just to get on the platform and yep. make sure that it still looks professional. I, I definitely go for something like this. You don't have to get a huge one. You get like really affordable small ones these days. 
Um, this is kind of going to be your all-in-one, especially if they have like multiple attachments and then you can choose. Um, and then I just go for something like this, simple little handheld tripod. It makes it really easy to film, especially if you're out and about, you can just plop it down wherever you're filming and then there you go. Do you dance? Okay, content queen, where do we follow <laughs> you on TikTok, TikTok and all the social media platforms? Uh, it's just um, um, at Amble underscore Barnard on everything. And do you do the dances as well? I, I, I'm love. not a dancer. No, I'm not a dancer. <laughs> Come on, you have to do <laughs> but, da, da. No, no, no. <laughs> I, I make people laugh, but it's it's not at my dancing. <laughs> <laughs> well, Amble Vaughn, it is so nice to have you with us you. to help us elevate our TikTok creations. And then someone who also took on a TikTok challenge was Carl Wasty, and he's all about the glow up challenge. Let's take a look at it.